welcome and welcome back to the channel guys real quick real quick all right guys oh this is a 07 model wow a 2007 chrysler town and country whoa y'all see that 43,000 miles now uh is in for transmission issues uh the complaint is no reverse and it's weird because i'm parked in a funny spot so i guess i hope they had reverse in mind when they parked it sometimes when people park them they don't know the complaint and if he just drove straight forward uh it wouldn't matter to him so let's see uh let's see what we got guys uh duplicating the concern in reverse feet on the brake as <laughs> the ground okay i have some rolling I can roll, so what we gonna do, even if the transmission is not pulling me backwards, this is a slight incline, guys, so, but once I'm past the incline, so I'm pretty much done. If there's actually no reverse, I don't know, we haven't duplicated it yet. All right, so now I'm gonna go into drive. Got drive, had to have drive in order to get up that smaller incline. So I got some free land space right here, guys. Let's Let's check this right quick. In drive, let's go in the neutral. Wow. Y'all see that? I'm in neutral and I am not moving. <laughs> so yes, we have duplicated the complaint. Now, I got one shot to get in the shop. Uh, hopefully without needing reverse, so Y'all wish me luck. I am driving, trying my best to get into the shop. Even in, in order to get into my stall, I think I may I may have a straight shot in. I don't know yet. So, but we going Yes, there's nothing in nobody in front of me. I do not have any reverse people. So, please don't block uh, my swag. Don't block me in. Don't ask me to bag back or anything like that. Once again, guys, no reverse. This 2007 Chrysler Town and Country, 40,000 miles. Uh, who knows, man? Y'all know how to reverse clutch. This is likely a 41 TE transmission, formerly known as the A604. All right, so and y'all know the reverse clutch pack is only uh, comprised to is only a uh, two discs and one steel plate. That's all you get in reverse. Okay, so uh, it's not much. Now there's a reverse holding clutch in the rear of the transmission called low reverse clutch. So, but I made it in the shop. I hope I can whirl in here in one shot. One shot. There's my stall over there. Let's see if I can do this, guys. So I gotta go over here as far as possible and start turning because I have no way to cut. Did I make it? Did I make it? Did I make it? Yes. One stop shop. I got in here, guys. And I even got in good enough to go in the air or raise the car in the air. Yep, did good. All right, guys. Uh, real quick, let me go to ad break and we're going to get out and start our diagnosis. No reverse on a 2007 Chrysler Town and Country. Wow, 43,000 miles. On top of that, there's no check in the light on. Okay, let's get it, guys. Stay with me. Let me go to ad break. I will be right back. All right, guys. Thanks for staying with me. Thanks for staying tuned. Now, the first thing I want to do is start this thing up and check the transmission fluid. All right, let's get with it, man. Yes, uh, that has a burnt odor to it, guys. Real bad odor to it. Burnt, like as if it's overheated, guys. Okay, and as you can see, this is a 41 TE transmission. Uh, they used to call it the A604. It means the same thing. Uh, just uh, upgraded a little bit. But uh, I still see these transmissions from time to time. In fact, I've seen one in a... 2018 Dodge Journey 
and a 2019. So it's, they still in production, guys. And the crazy thing about it, weird thing about it, the transmission came out in 1989. Yes. Uh, that's how long this transmission been out. It's four speed, so uh, of course the technology is uh, outdated as far as how many gears, but uh, it still can be used in some of the modern cars today. That doesn't require a lot of torque or a lot of speed, for that matter. Or the emission standard is not so far out of range that you can't use it. All right, now guys, because this is a 07 model, I have a. That's a different way I will be able to diagnose this as far as the scan tool, uh, check in the light. I will need my scan tool known as the DRD. That's right, my patented scan tool I use for mostly the older cars. Uh, 20, 2008 or 2007 and below. This is a 2007. It really all depends on the bus network of the car. Okay, say for instance, the 2006 PT Cruiser. Uh, utilize the, the newer scan tool, the Star Mobile, the Star Scan, and the uh, our Y Pod. Okay, so go figure. You can't say the DRB is only for 2007 and lower because the 2006 takes our newer scan tool. All right, so um, I will need my DRB, and I don't have it with me today. Uh, now, you also keep in mind there wasn't a check engine light on, but that doesn't mean transmission codes are a different breed, man. They can be stored in the memory, okay? Uh, yes, transmission code could be uh, present, but not be seen in the form of a check engine light. So you really need to dig into your uh, computer to find that code, okay? You may find something like, because we have no reverse, you may see something like uh, gear ratio error and reverse. Uh, what is that? P0701 maybe? No, that's first. Uh, you have a code like uh, gear ratio error in reverse. That's likely what you're going to see. But I have to document it. So I will have to go and get my scan too. But ain't really much I can do, guys. What I'm going to do now is raise it up in the air. Y'all know me. I want to take a look at that pan. I don't know, that would be uh, irrelevant at this point. Uh, you know the 41 TE maintenance schedule is typically 60,000 miles. So I cannot fuss at this customer if they haven't had their transmission service done. It's just a bad case of, I don't know, because this is an 07 model. Has it been sitting for so long? It has, I never knew overheating or sitting so long can cause your transmission to overheat. It's just one of those isolated incidents, guys that you can't explain what happened. You just simply tell whoever's in charge what happened. <laughs> a lot of these guys, they wanna know uh, why did it happen? Uh, I, and, and half of the time I can't give you an answer on why it happened, but I can tell you what's wrong, what it's gonna take to fix it, okay? So I'm not gonna dog, at 44,000 miles, I'm not gonna preach my sermon on <laughs> transmission service. Very, 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 very important. Although it is, it just, uh, this incident is don't apply it does not apply so let me go to another air brake man let me let this thing up in the air and uh, take a look underneath because what we're going to end up doing guys uh, y'all know how most dealership operate uh, they don't like taking chances that could easily be fixed like I say it's just a reverse that's the only gear we don't have and it's low mileage which means the chances of the other gears are okay just an isolated incident of reverse going out prematurely it happens hey okay so it could be fixed i can really take this trans out disassemble the input clutch assembly that's where reverse first second and third and uh under drive and overdrive gears are at or the clutch packs are at okay i can disassemble the input clutch assembly and make sure everything's sealed up properly or recondition the whole input and i should be fine after reconditioning the input clutch assembly Okay, now I highly recommend to go back in the rear of the transmission with a low reverse set to make sure uh, make sure the holding clutches are doing their job. But most of that stuff can be done with an air pressure check. Okay, this is 41 T. There's ways you can check to see if clutches are holding uh, with air pressure. All right, that's a plate that we put on the valve body, and we merely take an air chuck and shoot air pressure into it and see if those clutches hold. We can do that. 
but I'm almost guaranteed they're going to simply make me do a transmission unit. Wow. That's just how it is. Uh, I know a lot of guys clown me. Uh, why not find out what's wrong with it? Why not fix it? Not my rules, buddy. I just have to go by the rules. So uh, I'm speculating right now. So let me, um, I really need to know what the fault code is. But for now, let me get it up in the air and find out if anything else uh, visually I can see. All right, stay tuned. I'm going anywhere I will be right back. Alrighty guys, no leaks whatsoever. Whoa, 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 whoa. This changes the game, ladies and gentlemen. This has changed the game. As you know, I am a so-called expert on being able to tell if a transmission is a factory seal or not. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a factory seal, which means which means, follow me here now, follow me now. There is a likelihood chance that uh, Rome fluid was installed, okay? This is not, this pan has been off, okay? Uh, factory don't, you know, they, they, they seals never look like this. They have a special way. That's all SS, SS RTV. Uh, look at that, yeah. Uh, I've never seen a pan like that uh, from the factory, a factory seal pan like this. So there's a high chance, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, this transmission could have been sabotaged or, or unknowingly uh, wrong fluid entered. And it's fairly, it's fairly simple, guys. It's the Chrysler transmission. The only fluid available, if you ask any parts department, is ATF plus four. Okay? So, which begs the question, of how is that even possible? If you took the pan off to do a filter, and, and you had some RTV and you decided to seal it, what are the chances of you going in with the wrong fluid? Uh, slim. If, I mean, you have to be a certain breed to pull that off. I don't know. But uh, that changes the game. Okay? I'm not saying, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that's what's wrong with the car was the wrong fluid was entered into the transmission. I mean, it could be some Ford Mercury uh, transmission fluid, some of that Nissan stuff. I don't know what's in it. I know the fluid smell burnt and it's red. I mean, but that could apply. That could be anything. You know, red fluid, a lot of car makers use red transmission fluid. Stuff like that, uh, the fluid will have to be analyzed, but nobody's going to go through all that. We simply here is going to flush out the cooler and replace the transmission. All because reverse is out. And you know how important reverse is. Everybody know how important reverse is. Extremely important. I'm obligated to go talk to my service manager. So I'm going to go talk to him, guys. And uh, I will get back with you guys. I, I already know, uh, pretty much can predict the outcome, guys. They're going to make me put a unit in, flush the cooler, and be done with it. Okay? But I just figured I'd go through the motion with my subscribers, guys. I really appreciate you guys watching, tuning in. Your feedback at the bottom, your comments. If you got any questions, uh, please be subscribed before you ask the questions. I know most of my frequent question asks are already subscribed, but when I see names I don't recognize, uh, I, I really appreciate it if you would subscribe. Uh, then answer the question. That that will help me uh, get to those questions, get to every question pretty quickly. Okay, if I got to spend time to go track you down and see if you subscribe, that's taking time away from me answering uh, a particular question and I don't like doing that so I really much rather you be subscribed uh, so I can get to it but guys I appreciate you watching let me wrap this up thanks for watching comment subscribe and I'll see y'all in the next video